Hey everybody, Basil Ray, and uh, if you've ever come to the channel before, or you've heard me talk about why I review all those things, you know, one of the things that I try and be really helpful with is making people uh, understand the purchases that they may be making, right? We all have a budget, it's really nice, oftentimes uh, impossible, but it's really nice to stick to said budget. So I wanna look at a couple of things that I think are really interesting uh, that'll help you maybe decide if there is a certain high-end atomizer that you want to try out, uh, give you a better feel for how it's going to perform before you buy it uh, without breaking the bank. So the trend, especially in Genesis-style atomizers and really in a lot of atomizers, whether they're dripping atomizers, uh, something like uh, the Russian or the Kaifun. I've got a Kaifun 3.1, Kaifun Lite Plus. Uh, they're my favorites. Um, is this reduced chamber. So if you've seen the guts of a Kaifun, you know it's got the tiny little smokestack chimney that really uh, condenses everything down to that one outlet. Here's a juggernaut. Um, if you look here, right, and you think about this, there's not a ton of top cap space in here. It's a really a pretty small chamber, produces a really nice vape. Um, but the Juggernaut's very, very hard to get. I think there's going to be one more run, and then the guys from M1 are going to move on to some other products. Uh, and, you know, you pay a premium for a device like the Juggernaut. Here's my Romulus Hybrid, which is really reasonable, but it's hard to get. It's made in the Philippines, right? So you've got to get one uh, to the U.S. The bulk of you are going to be watching this from the U.S. Um, the idea here, you have the reducer piece, and then the top cap for the Romulus is also very reduced. So you get a very, very small air chamber around your wick and coil. When you think about things that are much less expensive, you don't get some of those benefits. So here's the top cap for an Aga T2. And if you look here, pretty wide open, right? There's not a lot of reduction going on here. Now this is an Aga T2 top cap. Uh, completely stock, the air holes aren't bored out. Um, it's just got the single air hole. Let me get it lined up right over my wick and coil. Uh, I've got the Aga T2 set up here with some ribbon wire, about 0.8 ohms, and I think I'm pushing around four and a half volts here, uh, courtesy of Minxie. And it's a pretty okay vape. I'm not a big lung inhale guy, so if it looks underwhelming considering the wattage combination, it is probably because I don't lung inhale. I mouth inhale and then inhale to my lungs and then exhale. Stock air hole here as well. Uh, but this top cap leads to a pretty sloppy vape. You know, you're not reducing down what's coming out. Uh, so I'm gonna take this same drip tip, right? And I'm gonna put it on this. Uh, someone was kind enough to send this to me because I wanted to start getting a feel for these reduced chamber atomizers. I believe this came from Captivate. Uh, they don't appear to be available on the site, at least right now. Uh, you can get similar style top caps from Kidney Puncher, uh, which I believe are made by Capital Vapors, uh, which I'll put the Facebook link to. Um, there's some Google order sheets out there right now on the Facebook page, but if you look here, you are reducing this quite a bit. You can see it's slotted out here in that chamber where everything is gonna fit up into nice and neat. So if you compare that to this, wide open, reduced, right? Now, the reduction in chamber space really helps seem to concentrate that air uh, to mix and get out. There's less room for it to get around. So I feel like you get a little more vapor uh, simply because there's less space for it to get trapped in the top cap, but the big, big, big benefit here is the flavor that gets produced whenever you reduce the chamber size. Uh, it just really intensifies it, and I think it's because you get a better mix um, of all those good things coming out because there's less airspace for it to circulate around and get trapped in. So you can see, I mean, it should be noticeable how much more vapor I'm getting here. This setup is gonna run you 
about $50 uh, on average. Uh, the Ega T2 can be had from anywhere, I think around $15 these days, uh, 20 to, $15 to $20. These top caps all seem to be in the $30 neighborhood. So for about $50, you're really getting uh, a more high-end style vape. I'm sure there's some who are you know, big fans of the craftsmanship and all those things, and I totally respect that. I mean, I have a Juggernaut, I have the Romulus, uh, I've had the Zenesis stuff, I've tried, you know, I've tried lots of it, uh, but I don't always wanna go out and chase the next new thing, right? This is perfect for someone who's maybe got a bit of a budget and wants to give it a try. Then what you can do is decide if it's for you and go out and spend the money on that high-end atomizer. Here I've got an RSST with a really cheap drip tip on it, right? But uh, in here I have, this is $10 from Fusion Mods. Think about all the people out there who have the RSST. And you can see I've got this black plastic piece in here. I'll see if I can quickly pop it out. Uh, what this piece is, is exactly the same idea as the, uh, the reduced chamber top cap for the... Aga T2 that I just showed you. Uh, this is $10, it comes from Fusion Mods, and it is darn near impossible, it looks like, to get out of here. Um, I just put it in today. But it really is just a black piece of plastic, and it's got uh, a multi-layered cutout here. You can see down here at the bottom, uh, it's cut a bit shorter, and that's for the screw here on the RSST. So the exact same idea, you're really tightly reducing this chamber. Now I do have this board to 1 16th, and uh, unfortunately I'm not gonna be able to show you the difference. Let me try and pop this out of here one more time and just see if I can get it out. Um, you know, the other type of vapor who may benefit from this is uh, someone who has a lot of high-end things and is going on a big trip. When you go on trips, you tend to not want to bring your nicest stuff because if it gets lost, or damaged, stolen, you're out a lot of money. This is a great way to give yourself a really nice, uh, concentrated, flavorful vape without having to break the bank. An RSST, $20 to $30, $10 for this top cap insert from Fusion Mods. Really, really nice vape. I have this set up with stainless steel cable, 28 gauge canthal. And I have some uh, gooey butter cake from Ripple Effects in here. Really, really nice, really sweet juice. Without this reduced chamber, the flavor is not, it, it doesn't smack you in the face, right? This is a great way to produce incredible flavor really easily for $10 more that you could easily and quickly add into something you already have. Gosh, I wish I could get this out of here. Um, I should have gotten it out before I started this video, but so it goes. So these are a couple of options that I wanted to show off a little bit. Uh, simply, it's a, a bang for your buck way to try some of the high-end atomizer design without having to break the bank. So I hope this is helpful. Um, this, uh, the Fogatti or Fogatti style cap can be uh, purchased from Kidney Punchers got them. Captivate has them. At least that's where I believe this one came from and Capital Vapors makes them. I think there's a place in China that's selling them too if somebody wanted to put a group buy together. Uh, the RSST insert here uh, comes from FusionMods.com. I'll put links to all this down there. If you're interested, check it out. I think it's well worth the investment, especially if you're on the fence about whether reduced chamber is for you, whether you're gonna like it, or you're just vaping on a budget. That's what it's all about. Save some money, stay off the stinkies, as we say, and just enjoy vaping. Let me leave you with one more Aga T2 reduced chamber vape. Mm, this juice really sings, really brings out. This is Jade Slush from PB Dragon. So there you have it, folks. Uh, there's going to be new stuff coming. I just got the Kaifun Light uh, Plus in today. So that'll be coming up maybe tomorrow evening. So keep an eye, stay tuned. Uh, please take care, and we'll see you around, baby. Some guys.